all right everybody welcome to a uh, tutorial video on how to really understand how to learn a character in Mortal Kombat how to play a character in Mortal Kombat and most importantly how to stop people from poking you all game in Mortal Kombat you know what I'm talking about you get on ranked you get on player matches and this is all anybody's doing bro they they they're mashing bro they they feeling they they feeling they stuff you know what I'm saying they they throwing stuff you know what I'm saying? Um, we're quickly going to go over how to stop that, okay? So, first things first, what you have to understand is that there's four separate types of moves in the game, right? The first one is a high, right? See that? When I hit her, it says high. Uh, high attacks are typically standing one and standing two. Um, sometimes there's like, you know, directional inputs like forward two, back two, and forward one, back one. But typically all your highs are here and here and maybe even stand three and stand four, right? Um, I think, I'm almost willing to bet that every stand normal in the game is a high, but anyway, not important. <clears throat> so, what is a high attack? What's the difference between the other four? So, a high attack, if somebody you're playing against ducks, right? But they're not blocking, these high attacks do not hit them. They whiff, they go right over their head, right? So what does this allow people to do? If you're throwing out highs, what can somebody do? Look at where she's at. She looks like she's ready to poke you, don't it? Look at her. She's looking at it. Growing all that. She's ready. So, <clears throat> highs. That's 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 a downfall with a high attack. A second type of move. Let me take her off block. Is a mid attack. Oh, and you can find out what type of move it is. Is if you go into pause menu, the move list, and you see where the guy looks like he just got kicked in the chin. It says high right there. <clears throat> Um, and as you scroll down the move list, you'll just see the move type. So uh, this back one, this is a mid, and what we're going to focus on today is pokes because the mashing is uncontrollable, and if I can help the community stop mashing, I'm going to do so. Uh, so this attack is called low jab, um, but it's a mid attack. Um, so it's my crouching one, my down one, <clears throat> seven frame mid. See, she's crouching, but it's going to hit her, <clears throat> and even if she's standing, Smack her. It's gonna hit her. Okay. Um, then your last two types of attacks are low attacks, which are these. So if she is stand blocking, see she'll stop highs, she'll stop mids. But if she stand blocking, she gets hit by lows, right? And if <clears throat> oops, she's crouching, the lows don't connect. Like I can't open her up. Oh gosh, wrong button. What am I doing? These. There you go. Overheads are the last type of move. Scorpion's overhead looks like this. This is back three. It's pretty interesting overhead. But notice how she's crouch blocking. The overhead will hit her if she's crouch blocking. But if she's stand blocking, overhead no connect. Right? You're all good. Okay. So what does this have to do with how you play the game? Right? So let's look at the most simple move in the game, which is a down one or a crouching jab. It's a mid. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to learn a bit of frame data. You don't have to understand everything right off rip, but it's important to understand these three categories. One is startup, which is the number furthest left um, in the bottom right there where it says frame data. The startup and the last two that you want to know are hit advantage, where it says hit AVD, and block AVD, which is hit advantage and block advantage. Okay. So notice how, let me take her off block. So this is how you stop people from poking, right? You can mash with them, right? You can. You can mash with them. But the thing is, once you see your mash land, once your once your jab lands, look at you have to you have to, it has to register in your mind that you are at an advantage in the game, right? And you can do a couple things, and I'll go over those. But usually, what people do when they're advantage is they they mash again. And they mash and they mash and then they get a down four off and they reset the neutral okay you're wasting your turn every time you do that you're wasting your turn up to, to get offense and to open up your opponent so let's look at what hit advantage means so uh, my hit advantage on my down one is 10 frames so this means if i hit scarlet with a down one before okay if i hit scarlet with a down one and i have a 10 frame hit advantage on my down one that means if Scarlet tries 
to do another move, she has to add 10 frames to her startup. Does that make sense? Watch, example, let me go to Scarlet's move list. So Scarlet has a also a seven frame down one. However, if she gets hit by somebody else's down one, i.e. Scorpion, if she get hit, gets hit by Scorpion's down one, her startup or her, her jab startup now is 17 frames because Scorpion's down one on hit is 10 frames of advantage in Scorpion's direction, okay? So if you get hit with a down one, you should block, most people won't block, but if you get hit with a down one, um, you're minus 10. So your fastest move, which is your down one, now starts up in 17 frames instead of seven. That's huge, okay? And let me show you what that means for you offensively once you see your down one connect. So I'm gonna go back to Scorp. I'm on Scorpion. So what you wanna do now, remember how I told you if the high attacks, or that high attacks will whiff if somebody's crouching? So once you get your advantage, you don't really want to use a high attack afterward because if they duck, they get to take their turn back, right? So what you want to do is scroll through your move list and find any mid that's faster than 16 frames. And I'm going to say 16 or 16 frames are faster because at worst, um, at, at least you'll still win. If you do anything that's 17 frames and slower, you give Scarlet a chance to poke out. Does that make sense? Even if you have a mid that's 17 frames and you hit her with a down one and you do a 17 frame mid and she pokes, you guys will probably trade in that scenario. You get it? So down one is plus 10 on hit. So that means any mid attack that Scorpion has that's faster than 17 frames, my opponent has to block it or they get hit. Okay? Scorpion's best mid in this game is this flick kick forward A. It's a mid. See, the startup is 13 frames, which is better than the 17 frames that Scarlet's going to have after I hit her with a down one. So let me show you what happens to people or what, what the game does when you try to match somebody when you're at a disadvantage. Ready? So I'm going to go back to uh, Scarlet and I'm going to record Scorpion. Let me take her off block so I can get my timing right. Okay, see that? That's down one into four or three. That jails, as a defensive player, you can't do anything about that. Ready? This is what happens. Th these are all of your options after you get hit with a down one, right? Everybody's favorite, mash. So I got hit, I'm gonna mash. You see what happened? Counter. Let's see if he does it again. I might do it again. Hit, I'm gonna mash, counter. And what counter means is I tried to throw out a move and my opponent beat me with a faster move, right? Or use his advantage to get off a move faster than I could get my move off, okay? So this, oops, so this, see I'm mashing, I can't, you can never match out of this. I'm gonna try to every button, watch. Down two, down three, down four, down one. I'm, you can't mash out of it, okay? Um, defensive options, you can, um, let me show you what happens if you try to backdash your jump. So I'm going to get hit, backdash, no, catches it. Get hit, backdash, no, catches it every time. Get hit, try to jump, no, get hit. So I eat the down one, I try to jump, and I get hit, okay? So magically, just like that, just by understanding that when your down one hits, you can do something else than down one, you can punish your opponent consistently for trying to mash out of your offensive pressure. Okay? And let me show you why this is so good <clears throat> um, to know things like this. Because Scorpion, let's go to Scorpion's move list. His forward four, or his forward three, excuse me, this flick kick, if I look at my combos, this forward three B, or forward AB, forward three four, uh, it's called Falling Ashes. Notice that it has a trigger uh, or a crushing blow requirement triggers if combo attack is a counter or a punish what were we doing to that guy that was trying to mash me we were countering him so let me show you you know let me show you how it gets down when you try to mash out of somebody 
this is what happens to you and you don't understand why you're getting destroyed because you're mashing. So we're gonna go, oops, I need to go player two and record. So, watch, watch what happens if I mash. Watch what happens if I mash. Oh, no, now I got launched. Not only did I get launched, but as the scorpion player, I'm safe. You got launched because you tried to mash out of something that you shouldn't have been trying to mash out of. Okay? So now I get to launch you for a combo, and I didn't do anything unsafe. Okay? And that's what's important about understanding your frame data. It'll let you know how to build out your offense depending on what hit you have. You know what I'm saying? Each one of these moves, I know I gave down one for an example, but each one of these moves has their own hit advantage. And depending on the hit advantage of that move, your next guaranteed move will be different. Almost off almost any move with at least five frames of hit advantage, six frames of hit advantage, you can follow up with something that will jail you can follow up with a mid attack. Let me not say something, with a mid attack that will jail your opponent. Because remember, you can't duck the mids, you can't and you can't stand like the mids hit, whether you're standing or you're you're ducking. Overheads would do the same typically. I don't know if there's a ton of jailing overheads in this game in particular. I think there was more in MK. But um Lows are good, but you can sometimes jump out of lows depending on the animation that the character does on their low. Like you can jump back out of the out of the advantage frames. So you typically always want to go for your best mid attack. Okay. So notice again, I get hit. I'm mashing. Oh, I think I'm mashing too fast. Mashing, crushing blow. Now scorpion, I'm like yes. Why are you mashing me? Don't mash me. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy you for mashing. Okay. Um, and from there, you know what I'm saying, you can build out, I don't even know who that is, you can build out your offense. Now let me show you what block, negative block advantage means. Um, so let's go back to Scorpions down one. I'm Scorpion or Scarlet? I'm Scarlet. So let me go back to Scorpions down one. Okay. So if Scarlet blocks this down one. Scorpion has three frames of block advantage, or negative three frames of block advantage, right? So what this means is I have to add this number. No, it's it's a it's a minus. I have to subtract this number from the startup of my next move, right? So what that means is my my startup is typically seven on my down one. If I come in here and I block. My next down one won't come out until 10 frames at the absolute fastest. Okay? So as a Scarlet player, if you know that, then you get to then take your now three frames of advantage and determine what your what your options are. See what I'm saying? And that's kind of how the chess game goes. Um, and if you ever hear people talking about plus frames, there's some moves in the game that on block still leave it your turn. So notice... Scorpion stand two. This move, if I get somebody to block this, I'm plus three. Plus three is not a ton, but it guarantees me a poke. And if I get a guaranteed poke, you're gonna eat these feet again. Safe, pressure. It's all safe, and it's pressure. See what I'm saying? It's not random. I'm not throwing out random combos. I'm not doing this, this. I'm not doing this in a spear and hoping to hit you. Like none of that. Don't do that. You want to know what you, you want to know what spear is on block? Minus 65. Any any move in the game punishing that. Any move anybody has in the whole game is punishing that. Okay. So understanding how the frames work will help you build out your offense. Uh, I'll show you guys kind of a more advanced concept. This is something that I do to people online because I know how much people love to poke. I'll typically save my crushing blow. Um, for a time where I really need to get some damage off. Um, so player two, yeah, let me record Scorpion. And block mode off, okay. So I'm gonna do a Scorpion combo. Okay, so I know that was a lot there. But so pretty much what I did I comboed, I comboed my opponent, and I left them in a standing state in which I still had a hit advantage. Because remember, my last move that I did 
was the uh, teleport. Let's look at the combo again. So he gets launched. I use my second bar to leave them standing. So the, my last move that I hit was my teleport. So let's look at the frame data on my teleport on hit. Teleport plus six on hit advantage. So again, that means Scarlet has a seven frame down one. The, the fastest she can get any move to come out is 13 frames, right? And how fast is my um, flick kick? It's 13 frames. So now this leaves my opponent in a scenario where if they're not frame perfect, if they try to poke me after the combo, look what happens. Ready? Oh, I, I, I messed up the recording. Let me do it one more time. This is what happens, ready? So watch, now I'm gonna be Scarlet, I'm gonna get launched, and then I'm gonna try to poke Scorpion at the end of this combo. At the end of this combo, because this is what people do. See, I couldn't even poke him. Why? Because he was still at an advantage and I wasn't frame perfect on my poke. Ready? Launch. Counter into crushing blow. Right after I just comboed you. How much damage is that? I can get I think I can get another 250 off that. Look at the health bar. You're dead. If I do this to you in the final round, that's it. Now all I gotta do is play neutral. Look. Look at it. That's for trying to hit me when it's not your turn. So that's why it's super important to understand how these frames work, okay? And I think I did block disadvantage too already. Yeah, I did. So, um, I think I'm going to cut this one here for now. Um, I'll go into some more of these advanced tips so you guys can understand how to play your offense and how to leave yourself at an advantage so that you can keep playing offense even though you may have already hit your opponent, okay? Because that's the name of the game. Keep your opponent having to do this. Block. If you block, how are you going to win or if you can't poke, how are you going to win? If you can't do anything, you can't beat me. So as long as I can stay at an advantage with my offense, I'm probably going to win the game. Okay? Um, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this. I haven't done too many tutorial videos, and I hope I didn't ramble on for too long. But I think it's a lot of valuable information here, and I think it'll help the community. Um, kind of understand how to play the game properly because I'm sick of going into ranked matches. I can't even play ranked matches because this is what it is. This is all people do. Mash. Mash. Dash. Mash. Mash. We're mashing. You mashing? We mashing. And if you're mashing me, I'm going to blow you up with counter attacks. I'm going to blow you up. I'm going to leave you standing. I'm going to leave myself at a frame advantage. And I'm going to eat a lot of these. You're going to eat a lot of boots from Scorpion. So, that'll be it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.